1967 was the year of flower power, free love, riots, Vietnam, and psychedelic rock. The Rolling Stones, Hendrix, Cream, The Doors, and The Beatles were all at the height of their musical prowess and all were using fuzz tones in much of their music. This new brand of fuzzy, overdriven rock had become so mainstream the guitar companies were taking notice. The first electronic fuzz was created by Orville Red Rhodes in 1962 and used on the Venture's 2000 Pound B recording that same year. Also in that year, Gibson developed and released their Maestro FZ1 fuzz pedal, which was famously used on the Rolling Stones' I Can't Get No Satisfaction in 1965. This same circuit was also oddly included factory installed in their EB0F fuzz tone bass of this time period. By 1967, competitors such as Arbiter and Moserite were also getting their slice of the fuzzy pie in pedal form. But in that year, a pair of intrepid companies started building the fuzz directly into the guitars. One of them was German maker Hofner. Following the success of their 500-1 model violin bass, thanks in no small part to Paul McCartney's de facto endorsement, Hofner decided it would be a good idea to issue a line of Beatles-themed six-string guitars. Best known collectively as the 459 models, these short-lived six-string violin guitars generally consisted of two ranges. A regular 459 Beetle with sunburst finish, rosewood fretboard, and chrome hardware, and a G459 Super Beetle with blonde finish, ebony fretboard, and gold hardware. The range also offered several options from a plain 459 with passive electronics and no vibrato, all the way up to the G459 VTZ, which at a whopping $635 with a hard case, $5,000 in 2021 money, featured every top of the line appointment, including active circuitry, complete with the treble boost, and built-in fuzz. Active electronics were cutting edge in 1967. The only six-string guitar to previously feature an active circuit was the Burns TR2 from 1963, which had not sold well due to its high cost and low demand. But the Hofner 459TZ and VTZ models, along with the Vox Phantom 6 Special from that same year, were the first six-string guitars to feature an onboard fuzz circuit. The fuzz on the Hofner can be described as very usable when dialed in, but the treble boost can be very tinny and unmusical without the right amp settings. The exceptionally high price tag, along with stiff competition in the guitar market and limited niche appeal, meant the 459 was not a big seller and was dropped from the Hofner lineup after the Beatles breakup. It has been estimated by some that as few as 25 of the G459 VTZ Super Beatles were ever sold. <laughs> 